If you guys are looking for super cheap and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got 24-7 support. Guys, don't waste your money on packs. Hit up the sponsor. Use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off of your entire order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over all the Mutt content you can expect for the month of September. Now, if you guys have been around the channel long enough, you know I usually do this video every single month. I've done October, November, December, January, probably all the way up until about March. Because I kind of just started cutting out content post-quarantine, so there wasn't really a need for that video. But now, guys, I didn't do one for August because that was kind of dumb. Because, obviously, first off, we don't know what they're going to drop at the end of August. And we only had, like, five, not even, like, three official launch days, which was just month superstars. So I didn't really want to waste the video and do that for, like, three days with content. But September's going to be a huge month for two reasons. First off, usually we start in July or August, so the month of August is everything. But because of the timing of this, it seems as if everything's going to be squeezed into one month. Usually, Team of the Weeks are always in preseason August and stuff that's in August and stuff. But it appears as though they're going to have to squeeze everything into September. So we have what I have on my list here appears to be just about, if not more than 10 plus promos slash things in the game or programs we can expect for the month of September, guys. It's super awesome because in past years, September's always been kind of like a lackluster month because that's like when the season's just, the season hasn't started yet. It usually starts like the 8th to the 10th, so that first 8 days of September are really lackluster. Then the season starts, we don't get Team of the Week to the following week, so we still don't really have much. And then yeah, we get some stuff, we never really got any banger promo stuff in September, but this month it's going to be so much. It seems as though, even though they may not be banger, there will be stuff every other day to look forward to, which is pretty cool too. And a lot of uh, reoccurring stuff we usually have. But guys, before we get into today's video, and we go over all the new promos and all the new stuff that we're going to be seeing in the month of September, Make sure down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on to my boys from Join the Family. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always, guys. Each like does help. Can we get 200 likes in this video? And, of course, we're about at 25, 22,500, guys. That's crazy. Thank you for all the support. But, without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and over to the Mutt screen. And, guys, if you need any coins to be prepped for any of these September promos, never forget, go down below to MuttReserve.com. Use code POOL at checkout. Pick up your coins. And yeah, let's head over to the screenshots and let's go check everything out. Okay, so starting with the first promo or program that we will be seeing in September, one of the first, will probably be the flashbacks. Now, if you guys know, flashbacks does come a part of a few things. This is one of the re reoccurring promos that we usually get to start the year, lasts for a few months, and then slowly goes away. Now, yes, flashbacks were trash last year, but in the past, they have been one of the more favorable promos in Madden, so I'm hoping they do revamp them properly this year. The issue is never really the players they pick, it's the stats they give them, like... Matthew Stafford's a cool card. This one was actually, actually this one was a good one. That's a bad example. But uh, let's see, Devonta Freeman is cool, but his stats weren't too great. Josh Gordon, awesome card, but his stats were decent. As well as uh, as we get back, like Tyron Matthew, good, but they didn't give him such a great speed. And as we keep going on and forth, now again, don't apply these stats to current Madden 21 because the issue with doing so is that every year they do do the stats differently for how they're going to start and how they're going to keep the longevity of the game. But as you keep going, guys, like, flashbacks just never are too good. They never make them too fast. They always keep them kind of slow. Like, Shady McCoy. This was a great example of one of the first flashbacks we got. 85 speed when we had running backs for 90 speed. Now, Shady McCoy and the Eagles is an awesome card. All they got to do is make sure that they do give him a high enough speed. And he would have been a great card. But I'm not going to spend too much time on flashbacks. This is one of the promos, guys. It's just players from other weeks in the years. Like, in so like 2015, week 13, Marcus Peters had a big game. Ben Roethlisberger. Uh, 2014 week eight had a big game. You guys get the you guys get the point that will be coming out as probably pretty soon. Hopefully they make a cool card art for that. Next we got the Madden 20 heavyweights, which was a promo that we will be seeing again this year. Heavyweights are the big boys. It's the big guys in the trenches like uh, Trey Flowers, Kevin Zeitler, James Daniels, James Devlin. Guys, pretty much pretty much anyone who's either super strong or super big or high weight. That's pretty much it, guys. It's it's very self-explanatory. It's pretty much going to be defensive linemen, offensive linemen. And that's pretty much it. I don't recall if we had any like tight ends there, but it's pretty much just ends, defensive tackles, offensive guards, tackles, and centers. So heavyweight's pretty self-explanatory, just like flashbacks, reoccurring weekly thing. It'd be one day a week where it comes out. Next, we got the veterans, guys. And the veterans are my least favorite of the three. I call this a slow promo. Veterans are just older players in the league who are now a bit older, but they want to give them a card because they were once good. Now, again, my issue with veterans, I feel like if they did a veterans card, they shouldn't give them trash stats. They should make the stats better. Like RG3, 85 speed. Not really that fast. We're going to do a veteran RG3. Unless they, unless the point of our veteran promo is to give you a modern day player that like they're just going to boost stats on a guy who's not doing too good now. I guess that would make sense. But at the end of the day, then there's just no point in making cards like that. But hopefully they step it up, guys. Again, just like just like flashbacks and heavyweights will be a weekly reoccurring thing for however long they end up doing it. Next, guys. 
one of the biggest promos all year that does isn't just one thing it's team of the week but it, it does leapfrog into team of the year later on so kind of goes on from now all the way up until january which is super cool now team of the week is one of the one of everyone's favorite promos it's a weekly thing pretty much nfl week goes on you know thursday night football uh sunday night football monday night football then that tuesday they decide who are going to be the team of the week players so pretty much they'll pick they'll pick an ltd offensive master defensive master and then a bunch of set pieces so let's just say Saquon Barkley has 200 yards this week. He might get the LTD card. And then Mark Andrews has a two-touchdown game. He might get the offensive master card. And then Patrick Peterson on the Cardinals has a resurgent week and ends up with two pick six or something. He'll get the defensive. It's very it's very self-explanatory. And there'll be low pieces. Team of the Week produces some of the best budget cards as well as some of the most fun cards every single week. They're always super fun. I hope they do step it up this year because there were a few dud weeks where we were really confused. And uh, yeah, on to the next thing. Buddha Baker as signature series was the top guy. Him and these other 95s here. So signature series, I don't know what the rhyme or reason was for them. It kind of just seemed like they picked people from division. It's kind of what it seems so like. This week was NFC East. Next week, next week was NFC West. I think it was about I think it was two players per week on Thursdays. Very simple. And then it starts off all the way up at 90 once. A uh, 90s. Okay, so 90s. So I remember you guys remember all these. Just remember them pretty easily. Russell Wilson, uh, Zeke. Evan Ingram. Now the issue with these cards were they were always super expensive because they are LTDs, and honestly they weren't really ever that good to be honest with you. Now again there were Redux cards that do end up coming out after a series. It allowed you to get them for a much cheaper price, but we can't always bank on that for the most part. Signature series weren't great. The only thing I had to do if they made they should make LTDs with better stats like that. That's just my personal opinion here. The issue with this game is that they do this. They decide. All right. Zeke, Amari Cooper, and Saquon are all getting new cards. They were all going to make their stats like regular players. Saquon's going to be a regular running back, nothing too special. Zeke's going to be a regular running back, and Cooper's going to be a regular receiver. Then they're like, eeny, meeny, miny, uh, Saqu- uh, let's just say Amari Cooper, LTD. So then you go to Amari Cooper, has an LTD. You go to pull packs for him, check his stats, like, wait, what, 87 speed? He's not even better than the current wide receivers. So why would I spend the LTD price tag for him? Now, that is the current issue, in my personal opinion with the ltd system if they went ahead kind of like boss legends are plus one stats if they made them better than current day players it would make sense so it should be like um saquon and zeke again eeny meeny miny saquon's the ltd so if they give zeke a 80 88 speed and 88 trucking but then they give saquon the ltd stat boost so he's like 91 speed and it's like whoa 91 speed that ties him almost for bear that ties him with barry like I'll spend 800k on that card. Like, that's a good LT. Like, that's what they got to do. But enough of that. I spent too much time there. Moving on to the next one. We got Mutt 10. Now, guys, Mutt 10 is not guaranteed. Actually, in fact, Mutt 10 will not be coming back. What I wanted to reference here was the fact that Mutt 10, they could make a variation of it. So, supposed to celebrate 10 years of Madden Ultimate Team, which I did believe started back in Madden 10, Madden 11. And it was the year of the uh, NFL 100 kind of stuff. So, it was just a very, like, throwback a year this year. But this promo here, I don't expect this exact one to come back because it was for a specific thing. But I hope they do something like it. I feel like they could make a variation of it because it was very successful. People loved it. People pulled packs for it. I hope they make a variation of it. Like, even if they don't do Mutt 10, they'll just do, like, Tribute Friday. And it's just a tribute to a certain legend. Like, and it could be even tribute guys who have, you know, things have happened to them. Like, you know, like, kind of what they do with Mutt Master and stuff where they pick, like, Sam Mills. They could do, like, a Tribute Friday, like, a Pat Tillman, those guys, Ryan Shazier. Or they can even just do uh, fan favorite legends, like, every Friday. I don't know. But it would be cool if they do something like that. I expect a variation of that. Then we got the Mud Heroes, guys. This always comes out in September. One of the more fun promos of the year. Super cool. They're like comic book style. Always definitely fun. And the LTDs last year were cool because they made them comic book, like cartoon style. Like see Aaron Donald, Jadavion Clown, you have a Kamara, George Kittle. Um, these were super, super fun. Jalen Ramsey. And they usually do a house rule. So they do, well, they did do a house rules last year around this, which was fun because we got some free players. I hope they do take that route again because I do. I, I do like this promo. It's very fun for a content creator standpoint and very fun to actually play. We got Ultimate Kickoff, guys. Now, Ultimate Kickoff is one of the biggest money grab promos last year I've ever seen. Pretty much the packs for it suck. All the packs did were give you players for the sets. But when you did the math on how many bundles you had to open to complete like one DeAndre Hopkins set, it ended up being like 300 bucks. And it was just, it was just, or like 150 to 300 bucks. It was crazy. It was a money grab promo. They do produce some good players. I'm going to be honest with you guys. There are some good ones. Especially when they did these guys right here that upgraded all year long Like what they did was they gave you an 82 overall and for every win the team gets they go up That was pretty cool. The only thing I didn't like was that how long they let it go on for so You like by the time you got it. It wasn't really that relevant of a player But it was still super fun. It is the kickoff promo. Hopefully they do do this again And then we got the gauntlet guys 
one of these solos that i do expect is the gauntlet challenges to come out soon people are wondering where it is uh it did drop last year a few weeks into the game it did not drop simultaneously to start the game so do expect this gauntlet usually gives you one of these free players i believe last year i went with devin white because he was just so fast and eventually they will give you a power up option for them so they don't really fall off anytime soon super fun players and the solos of course give you a lot of coins give you packs and they're fun to play and they help with your level hopefully those do come into the game soon the final thing we'll be seeing guys is weekend league that should be dropping this weekend coming up i believe which does fall in september guys so there we go that pretty much wraps it up we got flashbacks heavyweights veterans team of the week signature series mutt 10 mutt heroes kickoff call in the weekend league that is 10 things right there that we can expect to see in the month of september and again mutt 10 might be a variation but that, last, that sounds like a jam-packed loaded month of september hope you guys did enjoy today's video if you did give this video a big thumbs up guys glad i was able to prep you guys make sure to comment down below if you think i missed anything or what you hope to see what players you per uh what's your, what's your favorite promo on this list that you're excited to see in september hit that big noti bell turn that noti bell on hit that subscribe button boys get to 23k as quickly as possible and again always use code poodle down below at muttreserve.com thank you guys for watching there should be like three other videos today so make sure you guys go check those out but yeah that's about it i'm out peace